All right, I'm going to do a quick, we're going to see how quick I can be, hummingbird sitting on a wire with a very abstract background. I'm doing it with gouache. This is regular gouache. It's by Arteza. And I'm only going to use two brushes. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Hello and welcome to Deliberately Creative. I'm Stephanie and we are going to do another speedy challenge. I'm going to try and get the hummingbird. I want to try it. So let's get started. Hummingbird is right there. Links to anything is up here or down in the more information box. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. <laughs> it helps my channel out. It helps my mental health out. <laughs> I'm going to put in a very abstract background. It is a lot of green. There's a little bit of some brown. This is going to be burnt sienna and sap green. There's a bit of brown here and there. This is all really out of focus. And I actually think I'm going to grab a touch of white. Oh yeah, there we go. That's giving us more of that sort of foggy, out of focusy type of sheer colory look. All right. It looks like a mess right now, doesn't it? Let's see. Yeah, it's dry enough. In the the style of the the daily painters, they paint usually in acrylics or in oil paint. And it's very fast. Very uh impressionistic so we'll see how I go head neck shoulder comes down to belly We've got tail. I'm making him way, way bigger just because I can. The, this side of his chest, he's got some fluffy bits of wing, feathers sticking out. His little beak is going to be out here. And 
think I'm going to grab some of the burnt sienna brown to kind of come in and say there, there, there. Doing that. We've got a little bit here and a little bit here. He's got a stripe. His beak. I'll be able to adjust. His eye is in the middle of his stripe there. His, his eye lines up with his beak. There's some feathery bits. A bit more of that under his chin. A bit more of this coming in. I'm really enjoying how this is turning out so far. If you are, let me know by clicking that like button. You know, you can only click the subscribe button once on a channel, but you can click the like button every single time you watch a video. We are going to go into some of the brighter colors for right there. This green that's in here, that's in the background, is actually really close to the green that we want to have. I've noticed that I've gotten a little bit deep on his neck here. I think I'm going to wipe that up. Look at that. Because I had that, oh, look at that. Because I had that background in beforehand and I dried it, it's not lifting up. And because we're working on paper, look, oh my gosh, that just lifted him right out. I see a little bit of some dark that needs to be like dark brown with a little bit of black in it. And that's going to be down here in this area. I want to just get this in because I'm going to bring some of that green blue down inside. We've got feathery bits and a bit of a shadow in here and a bit of a shadow right there. And maybe a touch right here. There's a bit of a shadow down inside. Like that. Oh, this is looking so cool. There it is, the liner brush. I'm gonna use a liner brush. First up, we're gonna go across kind of at this angle right here. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of white. 
just right over that line. Just using the liner brush. So I'm just mixing up a yellowy gold color because you need that. You need that little, that little spark of that other color going across. I'm going to put that on here. Need to put a couple coats of it, it looks like. That's looking good. It can be darker right here because his little feet are going to go on and his little feet are actually just, you just see this one. Let's see, do I see more than that? That and that. And then you see the other side, sort of like that. And that, so like two toes on the front. Just like that. And then in his, for his actual eye, it is, it is a black spot, very black, right here, kind of overlapping that blue and the brown or blackish spot. Like that. I'm going to go ahead and put my little signature on here. I need to get my paint more wet. And what I'm doing is my little glyph, which is my SB in a box. Just like that. Now let's pull that tape off. I've been looking at the Daily Painters their paintings that they've been that they do and how they lay the paint in and how they approach putting something like this together and doing it quickly guys oh my gosh <gasps> look at it oh and it's a card this is you know so much fun to do I plan on doing a whole lot more. Thank you so much. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, share, and if you want to support my studio, join the Patreon. Uh, my patrons sometimes get special surprises and they get the full unedited videos. So all the bloopers and um, crazy things that happen behind the scenes, they get to see it all. Link is up in the iCard. All the links for the materials are below. Remember to go out and do something creative. Take care of yourself so you can take care of those around you. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.